We'll now move to your consent agenda. Your consent, and there were last minute changes to your consent agenda, Aye. but your consent agenda consisted of agenda items two through 42. Agenda item six is being pulled by council member Kleinman. Agenda item seven is being pulled by council member Arnold. Agenda item 11 is being pulled by council member Mendelson. Agenda item 19 is being pulled by Deputy Mayor Pro Tem McGew. Agenda item 20 is being pulled by Council Member Narvaez. And agenda item 37 is being pulled by Council Member Kleinman. Therefore, your consent agenda consists of agenda items 2 through 5, 8 through 10, 12 through 18, 21 through 31, 33, 34, and 38 through 42. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion. Motion Mendelson. Last. Okay. So, um, Councilwoman Mendelson, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you. There's been a lot of discussion outside of official meetings about how we spend money and what we spend it on. We approve dollars twice a month at our agenda meetings. And in looking at the dollars associated with today's agenda meeting, I just want to pause, make sure the public knows what we're about to vote on. More than $23 million that we're about to vote on is for poverty related items. That's low-income housing, affordable housing, homeless services, and COVID-19 testing for vulnerable populations. It's also almost $28 million in quality of life-related items. That's a safer street program, traffic light improvement, library furniture, $18 million in trails, flood protection, and water infrastructure investments. And later, we're going to take up an item for $1.8 million for improvements in uh, rail quiet zones. I think it's important to take the time to provide as much transparency and information to people as possible so that the work that we've been doing all year long with this council and with staff to help Dallasites live better is understood. I'm going to be asking the city manager and chair Gates to put an item on the government performance and financial management committee agenda so that we can discuss adding subtotals to our spending categories on these agenda um, uh, council agenda documents. And this will make it easier for the public to accurately see our spending priorities. I also wanna talk about one specific item that I pulled and put back. And you may have noticed that in an earlier report, but it's item number 13. And I put it back because I support it. And what it is is a homeowner who just wants to put two pecan trees in the right of way in front of their house. And what I wanna highlight for you is just sort of the bureaucracy that happens at this city. And I think this is one of the things that we need to do um, to change and modernize government. So this homeowner pays $100, fills out a form, 10 different departments have to review this because it's an ordinance. The city attorney's office has to write it up. Somebody's processing that payment. We're here discussing it and having reviewed it. This is to put two trees out, something we all agree should happen, we all want. And why we can't have somebody just fill out a form and some manager or assistant director looks at a map and goes, that looks reasonable, you can do it, is beyond me. That we would have an entire ordinance to put out two trees is, is exactly what's wrong with government. And so um, I hope that as we're looking at how we can reduce costs, we can also look at transparency and speed and this will be one of those items that you can redesign how it works in our government. So with that, I am in support of the consent agenda. Thank you. Thank you. I thought we had some other folks who um, wanted to speak on the consent agenda. Uh, who else wants to jump in? I won't just go through every district. Who wanted to? West. District okay. One. All right. Chairman West, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And uh, I want to echo uh, what Councilwoman Mendelson said, especially about the uh, the homelessness uh, services that we're providing uh, or we'll be voting on today, along with also the affordable housing 
efforts. You know, we do have a couple of uh, housing items that we are passing today, which are not huge in the big scheme of things, but they will move the ball forward um, in, in a small way, which is always a success. I also wanted to just acknowledge item number 39, which is a large expansion of the circuit trail connector. I want to give a shout out to the circuit trail conservancy for their works and bringing it to where it is today. Uh, connecting trails is great for mobility, great for getting people around the city in an affordable way. Uh, it's really great for connecting neighborhoods and, and uniting us as a city and not allowing us to be separated um, by lack of, of, of mobility options. And it's allowing us to spread out more uh, in the wake of COVID and, and in a way that we can get more fitness and exercise. So. Uh, any, any time we can connect a trail, it's, it's a win. And this is one more step to getting our trails connected throughout the entire city. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Of course, who else uh, want to Thank speak you. on the consent agenda? Uh, Mayor. Yes, Ms. Arnold, uh, could you? I, all right, now I'm gonna have to ask you for your help at this point, because we went kind of fast. I have an item seven that I need to make modifications to. So I want to make sure we don't pass by me. So just kind of help me of be course, in order. Of course. Just, okay. Oh, absolutely. All right, thank you. So we, we pull, I just want to make sure we, we were doing what you want here. We pulled that item for you. And so right. it's not being discussed on the consent agenda. It's going to be uh, treated separately. Is that what you wanted? Yes, I just want, everyone started talking so fast and I was like, okay, let me make sure I don't pass by uh, my agenda item. So we're just oh, speaking no, 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 holistic. No. Okay, thanks yeah. so much. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody else? Thanks. thanks. You got it. Anybody else on the consent agenda as a whole? Okay. Um, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? aye. Any opposed say nay. The ayes have it, Madam Secretary. 